Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we're back with another epic video. So today what we're going to be doing for you guys is showing you guys the best comps for tomorrow's 15 win challenge. And we do one of these every single month. Recently the maps have been the same but they've actually changed them for this month. So we got some new comps to show you guys. And before we go forward with this video, uh, Spen LC recorded kind of the same video. I'm going to be dropping a link to his video in my description below. Definitely go check that out if you guys want to see other comps that are going to be used. Always good to kind of see a bunch of different comps from pros perspectives and seeing which one you guys are most comfortable with. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's show you guys the best comps on each map in the 15 win challenge. So the first map in the 15 win challenge is going to be Minecart Madness. Now the best mid probably here is Sprout. Now Sprout is a pretty crazy mid, definitely the best brawler in the game right now. Um, and as you guys can see, you have really good area control. So we're going to be going with a tick lane and a Jackie lane. Jackie probably being the best lane on this map. And then you got that tick lane, which is really hard to beat. And if you can block things off with your Sprout, obviously it's really, really hard for that BB or whatever is on that right side to be able to do anything to you or the tick. Again, you have two throwers, so it's also really hard for them to get any type of damage on you. And you just end up doing an insane amount of damage. You have really good area control. And it's just really hard to kind of kill this comp. It's pretty difficult. As you guys can see, we've had them blocked off all game, doing a great job. And that is going to be our first comp for this map. Now with the second comp, we're going to be going with Poco Double Tank. Now you can kind of be flexible on the tanks. A lot of people like to run Daryl here. But the main point, you just have a Poco and you use your gadget. You obviously use first star power to heal to Capo. And that's what you do. So as you guys know, um, in the 15 win challenge, or if you guys didn't know, you get gadgets. You get maxed out every single brawler, even if it's not maxed. So just take advantage of your brawlers being maxed. Use the gadgets correctly. You guys see, I never use a gadget for Poco on my own. I always go right beside a teammate and use it then. Your job isn't to get kills, it's to help your teammates get kills, so don't get too aggressive, just let your teammates do them, as you guys can see. I'm just standing in the mid healing them, giving them the proper heals they need, and picking up the gems when they get to me. This is a really easy comp, and most people have all three of these brawlers, so you shouldn't be taking too long, or it shouldn't be too hard for you guys to find a room that you can get these brawlers playable. It's a really easy comp, you guys aren't going to get countered by much, I don't expect... I got run over by a train there. I don't expect you guys to face a Shelly or anything like that on this map, so don't worry about it. And that is going to be it for the first map. So going into the second map, we're going to have Penalty Kick. Now, for some reason, Supercell just loves seeing this map in competitive. It's a very interesting map. There's a lot of different metas you can go with. Um, but we're going to show you guys two here today. So the first one we're going to be showing you guys is kind of a mid-range meta. So we're going to be going with Jean, Ems, and Sandy. Now, this comp is really good. Um, you have the knockback, so you do well against tanks. You have uh, five total knockbacks if you combine. M's is knockbacks and jeans. I wouldn't waste your gadgets. Just obviously just wait for them to come at you. Don't use them aggressively like you guys see over here. Uh, Phil does waste his gadget over there, but he gets close. I just push him away and he can't do anything. Um, and eventually he's going to run out of gadgets. It's going to make Jackie really easy kill. But this mid-range meta is really good. It doesn't get countered by absolutely anything. You can do really well with this comp. And it's very easy to have control and do well with. And that is why I would recommend running this comp over any other comp. Now, unfortunately, you do have three pretty rare brawlers. Not all of you guys have these brawlers. So we're going to show you guys a more common comp. Let's hop into the next game and show you guys what it is. So coming in with our next comp, we have Mr. P, Barley, and Spike. Now, I know this does have another legendary, but it's definitely not as rare as the last comp. Um, and this comp is really, really good. It's kind of squishy, but you guys do a lot of damage. You have really good control with this comp, and it's pretty easy to win lanes here. So Mr. P is probably the best lane on this map, uh, as well as Barley and Spike. You know, they're just really good at holding position. People have to come to you to score. Don't go too aggressive. Just let them come to you. Let them make their way to you, and you'll be able to do really, really well with this comp. Uh, as you guys can see, they come to us, but they can't really do anything as they're just getting hit. Again, um, the, this is a friendly room, but they're trying as hard as they can. Um, we're trying to get some kills. As you guys can see, we have them trapped. There's like nothing that they can do to score. And even if they were able to score, we have turrets, we have, you know, spawns. There's like, there's no way for them to actually come in and do anything. Um, it's definitely a really good comp. You're able to have a lot of pressure. And once you have this, uh, this control that we have right now, as you guys can see, the area denial is huge. You get the Mr. P penguins, you get your spike supers, and it's just absolutely over. I would definitely highly recommend using this comp in the 15 win challenge. With that being said, let's move on to the next map and let's keep going. Now coming in with the third map, we have Crossroads. Now there's really only one comp you want to run here and only one strategy you want to run while doing it. 
So you guys see we have Brock and Daryl going on the left. You always want to have a Brock and Daryl going on the left. You want to be using the second Daryl star power rolling reload and you want to be using incinerary with your Brock. And on defense, you want to either have a spike, a cold, or just something that you can defend or are very comfortable defending with against units like Brock or Daryl. So as you guys can see, we did a really good amount of damage. RC is doing a really good job. He won lane, so he's able to go up and do damage as well. This is definitely the best comp by a mile. Nothing really competes with it. I would highly recommend using this like literally 100% of the time if you guys have the options because there's just nothing that can really beat this comp. And you guys can see, I'm just going to stand at a distance, do damage. If RC gets on safe, it's literally game over. And that is how easy this comp is. This is the only comp we're going to show you guys for this one. It's the only one you guys should run. So I'm into the next map and let's keep going. So going into Olive Branch, which is going to be the fourth map, this is a little bit of an interesting one. Again, another new map getting into the rotation. So there's only one game, but I did record two. I did play two games, but unfortunately only one of the replays works. So you have options for lane. You always want to run Sprout on this map. Sprout is definitely the best Brawler's map. Very much, you know, a good amount of area denial. There's obviously walls, which you can shoot around. It's a very, very good map for Sprout. The mids, you kind of have three options or four options. I would probably prefer running Pam as the mid. That's what I did in the other game that unfortunately isn't working pam just has that really good area denial really good with everything second option i would probably say is bow third then being gene um but you just can't really kill a pam with like a bow or a gene or anything if you're playing a good pam so that's what i would recommend and then on the other lane i would throw in either a barley or a brock now this is going to be kind of like your dangerous lane holders you know the bow the pam and the sprout are supposed to be the ones winning lane and then you have barley and brock who are really just your high damage dealers People that, you know, you hope you can win lane with. If you're a good player, you'll be able to win lane with fairly easily it's as, as it's a pretty slim lane. But it's really your damage for your comp. You know, it's the, it's the brawlers that you can do a ton of damage with. Pam does a good amount of tanking. You know, uh, Bo also does a good amount of tanking. But Brock just does a surreal amount of damage. So that is why I would run Brock or Barley on this map. Again, you want to have one brawler that can do a really good amount of damage. But with that being said, let's hop into the next game. We're going to hop into the final map. And let's keep going and talk about what the best comp on the new map heatwave is okay so hopping on to the second map we have very or the sorry not the second map the final map we have two very different compositions here so the first one is going to be just your classic bounty comp it's going to be uh piper brock and mr p now what your goal is with this comp is kind of just to you know get those snipes going and then when you do you want to break their walls so you guys are going to see once i get my first piper super it's going to take me a little bit but where that gene is hiding right now i'm just going to get rid of that total region over there that's their main re region where they do a ton of damage where they do their hiding at and you definitely want to get rid of that as it gives you a really big map advantage when you're using three range brawlers such as mr p piper and, uh, and Brock, you want to open up the map as much as possible, especially when facing a comp like this, which has a gene which isn't really as dangerous from as far as the other three brawlers, plus two tanks. You guys can see the map is more open now. It's going to be easier for us just to kind of dominate. Um, you want to save your gadgets. That's very important when you're facing a comp like this. I cannot stress it enough. Save your gadgets. Don't run up and use an aggro super. Don't run up and use an aggro gadget. Use it for defense because there's going to be a couple times, maybe three times in a game where they're going to run up on you. And, you know, your gadget can save you, but not if you use it aggressively. So please save your gadgets, guys. It's definitely the best strategy, 100%. But with that being said, we're going to hop into the next game and show you guys the final comp that we have for you guys today. So coming in with our final comp, we actually have the polar opposite of what you guys just saw. And we have a Poco double tank comp. Now this comp is very, very good on this map. It's probably one of the best Poco double tank comps in the uh, maps in the game. And this is really easy to play. You just need a good Poco. Um, and again, just like on the other map, on the first map on minecart madness you want to use your gadgets and you want to just feed your teammates you know you have buffy teammates they have a lot of hp but they have even more hp if you're just feeding them your heals you know using your gadgets with them you don't want to use it alone you don't want to go too aggro with your poco just let them get the kills because that's what this comp is made for you know you guys can see phil's running around i'm not taking any shots at anybody i wish i could have he healed phil there but i had to unfortunately regen some health but as you guys can see i'm not going aggro i'm just running away i'm letting my tanks do the job while i just chill in the back and when they need my help i'm gonna come in now if i do have an opportunity to kill obviously i'm gonna go up but if i don't have it i'm not gonna risk my life i'm not gonna do anything foolish just take my shots here and there help my teammates survive that's all you really want to do with this comp and then the bb and the rosa or the frank or the daryl or whatever two tanks you decide to use or even the jackie is going to take over and they're going to absolutely run through the other team's comp but anyways that's going to be it for today i hope you guys enjoyed these comps now again if you guys want to see another take on this i haven't watched spen's video yet but spen is another very good pro 2019 world champion he also has a video about the 15 win 
challenge. I would definitely check it out if you guys want to expand your horizon, see some more good comps on these maps. As you know, it never hurt to be more informed. But anyways, that's going to be it for today. I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace.